I don't even know how to express the emotions that I'm feeling right now in words. So happy I don't have to run anymore. <laughs> My name is Sam Benchigan, and this is me. A few days ago, during one of the happiest days of my life, when I finished running across the United States after running a marathon a day, every day for six long months. I ran from the Atlantic Ocean all the way to the Pacific Ocean, a total of 3,055 miles. I started running in New York City, and I didn't stop running until I reached the Pacific Ocean in Los Angeles. This run took me 191 days, so this was no small task. I ran through 13 US states and a countless number of cities, but I felt like this was something I had to do. My mission was to raise as much awareness about protecting our oceans and inspire people to use less plastic. Plastic pollution is a very serious problem. It's everywhere and it's only getting worse. I grew up in Indonesia and saw the effects of plastic pollution every day. I've seen the worst of the worst when it comes to plastic pollution. I even kayaked down the world's most polluted river on 300 plastic bottles with my brother Gary three years ago. And I saw what it looks like to choke on plastic. The numbers are terrifying. More than 300 million tons of plastic are produced annually. And more than 90% of it is not recycled. And this number is only getting bigger every year. At least 8 million tons of plastic are dumped into the ocean each year, which translates to one truckload of plastic going into the ocean every single minute. So for the past few years with my sister and brother, we started an organization called Make a Change to get plastic pollution on front page news, getting as many people to know about the urgency to act now. And what fuels us is the idea that no idea is crazy enough. So yes, I'm probably a little crazy for running 3,000 miles across the entire North American continent, but we truly believe that these crazy ideas can inspire positive change. So teaming up with Parlay for the Oceans, an environmental organization, I stopped wherever I could to reach as many people as possible to share my message. And I spoke to over 10,000 people face-to-face -face on this journey, from school children to business owners to mayors and state governors. I spoke to as many people as I could to inspire them to change their habits when it comes to plastic and create legal change. And to reinforce my message even further, even the shoes I used to run were made from upcycled plastic collected from shorelines around the world thanks to Parley and Adidas running. But this run was not easy. I had to push myself every day, day in and day out. I ran through deserts, through forests, through mountains. I ran through scorching heat with thunderstorms and snowstorms. First rain day. I pushed my body to limits that I didn't even know were possible. 40 miles. 40 miles. Holy crap. Oh. I'm so tired. Oh God. 28 miles in the snow today. It was really hard to wake up this morning and stay motivated, but it's the first step, it's the hardest, so. <laughs> this is uh, definitely by far the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. When the sky is gray and it's raining or it's snowing and it's below freezing, it's really hard to get out there and run 20 miles, um, let alone one mile. There's some ups and some downs, and, 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 and most of them are downs. And along the way, there was a lot of pain. I got injuries, I got blisters. And when the injuries got too bad, I bought walking sticks and pushed through the pain. I had to persevere, to stay motivated, and to keep pushing no matter what, because this run was so much bigger than me. This run showed me what we are capable of and how we can overcome these massive challenges together, even those as big as plastic. I took 6.5 million steps on this run across the United States. And the way that we are going to overcome these challenges, just like this run, is by taking a first step. If everyone can take a first step towards reducing their plastic consumption, this world would be a much better place. And those steps can be very simple. 
There's so many single-use plastic items that we use that can be avoided. Right now, more than ever, this is the time for all of us to come together to go above and beyond to protect our planet. So if you have that one crazy idea that you think may just save the world, remember that nothing is too crazy because we only have one planet.